What's good, everybody? Hey, welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, AB. Now, you guys ready to title? You know what time of the year it is? Listen, we're getting ready to do a glazed ham, but not just no any old glazed ham. We're getting ready to do, you know what? I call this, listen, this is a raspberry chipotle glazed ham. Listen, this is really all about the glaze, because listen, we're not trying to, like, reinvent the wheel. We all know how to uh, make a ham. And if you don't, all you gotta do is when you buy a ham, it's probably gonna already come pre-cooked. All you gotta do is peel the label off and look at the back and it tell you, tells you how long it should be, the whole shebang. So really, it's all about putting that glaze and that presentation. And before we get ready to go over these uh, ingredients, I'm getting ready to preheat this oven right now because like a lot of times I forget to show it. So listen, I'm gonna start saying it like in the very, very beginning. Now, I wanna set your uh, oven to 325 degrees. That's done. Now we're getting ready to go over these ingredients and make it happen. All right, we're getting ready to go over the ingredients. Start off by saying, listen, if you're new to my channel, you'll notice that every time I pick up, you know, any of my ingredients, you'll see the description come up on the screen and then it'll show the quantity and also it'll be down in the description box below. With that being said, let's get right into it. I'm gonna start off by just showing this. Hey, listen, when you get yourself a ham, it's probably gonna come in something like this. You know what I mean? It's with its own type of glaze. If it does, we just gonna discard it. I just got it out here right now just so you guys can see it. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. I'm gonna use it for something else. Okay, right here. Okay, got a nine pound ham. Okay, so just wanna show you that. And then also, if you peel it back, the instructions is on here, you know how to make it. So, we just put that there. This is real simple. And again, listen, we making a raspberry chipotle ham glaze. Now, I got two cans of this uh, chipotle, you know, peppers. This is an adobo sauce, just got two of these. Listen, I'm using a third cup of brown sugar. All right, third cup. This right here is that Heinz, you know, vinegar. You know, uh, just, hey, listen, this is just a regular vinegar. I'm just showing you the brand that I use. You know, I get that sometime. And then right here, listen, for the seed, listen, this right here is the raspberry, this, look, red raspberry seedless. This is what you want, you guys. You want to get seedless. You don't want it with the seeds, because listen, it'll mess up your presentation. Trust me when I tell you, it's going to be a little bit more expensive, you know, since they had to do the uh, straining, but it's going to be well worth it. Now, I'm going to be using this to check my temp. This is the meat stick. You guys know that I'm a gadget person, but you want to talk about having a gadget that is truly functional. This right here has replaced Everything. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna do a video to show you guys. You know how this works. You know what this is all about. But you're gonna start seeing this in every one of my videos. I can't live without it. All right. Got the meat stick. This is just a bridge for the Wi-Fi. All right. Now, so the first thing I want to do is I'm gonna clear this right here and get me a station. I'm gonna open this up. This is a nine-pound ham. You know we're gonna do the math. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna put it in the oven and then we're gonna start cooking this glaze. So stay with me. Now, once you open your ham. You know, any of the juices, it's okay to put them in your roasting pan. That's all right. And don't forget to remove, you know, that bone protector. Okay, look, got it out of the package. What I'm going to do is I want to put, we're going to call this the face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my ham face side down. There you go. I just don't want it to be cooking in its juices, and I want everything to just run down here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm getting ready to use my meat stick. Now, you know, we got a bone right here. You want to get this in here like this. I'm gonna, you know, I don't really like want to mess my meat up, so I'm going to go into right about there. It's got a little line right here. And again, don't forget, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and do a review on this. Hey, this is a must-have. Now, I got that in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it with some foil. We're going to set our temperature because we're going to need 15 minutes for every pound. This is a nine-pound uh, nine ham, so let's go ahead and figure that out right now. Alexa, what's nine times 15? Nine times 15 is 135. So that's 135 minutes. So two hours would be 120 and 15 minutes. So we got two hours and 15 minutes. Let me go ahead and get it covered. After we get it covered, I'm gonna put it in the oven, set that timer, but we wanna set a timer for an hour and 15 minutes because the last hour, that's when we're gonna start basting it with that glaze and we're gonna reposition this ham. So let me get it covered. Now, I wanna take this time to show you, you know, this right here, this is the app that works along with the meat stick. Now, as you can see, it says 51 degrees. And then, you know what, you can customize it if you can look up at the top, it says glazed ham. So once I hit that, to the left, over there in orange, that's the ambient, you know, temperature, saying it's 77 degrees on the outside, but 51 degrees, you know, internal. Now, super easy. Listen, 
what you want to do is now you want to cover it right so when you cover it it's up to you you can cover it you know completely and seal it but for me i do a loose cover i just want to protect it and keep it from browning so much but after that then we're going to put it in the oven okay now look while we got the ham in the oven what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead i'm going to go ahead and start making you know making the glaze i'm going to go ahead and just start by putting this in here again you guys can just see seedless is the way to go Okay, look, I'm starting off with, you know, using the, uh, the preserve, putting that in there first. But to be honest with you, everything that you have put aside, to, you know, to make the glaze in no particular order, just go ahead and just like dump it into the uh, pot and then we can hurry up and get some, uh, some heat onto it. That right there is, you know, the brown sugar and then I'm coming with the vinegar. You know, it's just like super easy. I'm trying to figure out like, what am I going to say? You know what I mean? Because this is really truly self-explanatory. Now, you can do, you can use one all the way up to three cans of these uh, chipotle uh, peppers, you know, and it's adobo sauce, but I can, I don't really do hot, you know what I mean? This right here gave it a nice little bite to it, so I went ahead and used two cans. That's what I, you know, usually use, and uh, I have no issues with that. Now, what you want to do is you want to go ahead, and I put it on a medium high, because I wanted to bring it to a boil, and there you go. You can see it right there boiling. Now, when I remove the top, we're not going to put the top back on it. Reason being, we want it to like evaporate and we want to cook it down so it would thicken up. You know, really, really easy, you guys. Uh, you could just see right there, it's starting to thicken up already. You can tell the way it's simmering right now. You can see the thickness in the liquid right there. Now, that's our glaze, folks. Now, when that comes out of the oven, then we're going to start, you know, go ahead. Once it comes out of the oven, we're going to go ahead and start basting it. But once we got the desired uh, thickness, I just know right there, it's not might not be as thick as you guys might like it, but I know right there, once it starts to cool, it thickens up. Now, go ahead and get yourself a strainer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna strain it. We're gonna separate those uh, peppers and any other things that, you know, like came off of the peppers or whatever. We just wanna have straight liquid, and that's gonna be our glaze, you guys. Now, you know, now you'll notice that it's really not draining as much, right? That's because the peppers are gonna clog up the screen. So what you wanna do is get yourself a spoon or you know uh, a silicone you know spatula or something like that and you just want to like move it around just so that all of the impurities and i'm not even gonna say they're really not impurities just so all of the pepper and everything it released will stay inside of the uh, strainer and then we can just get pure glaze right there now after an hour and 15 minutes we want to go ahead and just bring it out of the oven we're going to remove the foil and because listen it's already cooked what we were doing was we were just protecting it keeping it from browning so much and we were just putting some heat into it and remember, we're trying to get to an internal temperature of about 135 degrees. Now, you just want to get yourself, you know, a, base, a basting tool, which you just saw right there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just reposition this because now we started out with it being face down. Now we just want to get it, you know, so that the face is facing outward. You know what I mean? So we can see the slices. So listen, we're going to go ahead and get some of the uh, glaze. And then we're just going to start basting it over the top. Now, I'm just putting it over the top like this right now. But you're going to watch what I do. I'm going to go ahead and get myself a knife. And then we're going to open up some of those. Uh, some, actually, we're going to open up all of the, uh, the cuts and the slices. You know what I mean? Just so that we can get that, that, that raspberry uh, uh, glaze. We want to get that all the way down, deep down, all the way to that bone. You know what I mean? So that way, each one of your guests, when they pull from that, they're going to get that amazing flavor. Now, as you can see, there it is. Just open it up. And go ahead and just add your glaze throughout. And then we're going to go back into the oven. And when we go back in the oven, we're going to go in there. Listen, we're going to baste it four times. So listen, every 15 minutes, we're going to take it out. And we're going to start adding some more glaze onto it. And again, that's going to be a total of four times. And after that, we'll have that internal temperature. And then boom, it'll be done. Now we're coming out for base number two. You know, so the same thing that we did the first time. You know what I mean? We just want to go ahead and continue to just keep putting that amazing, you know, uh, glaze on the top. And then, you know, with that with that brown sugar in there, listen, it's going to caramelize inside of that oven. Now you want to repeat that all the way up to four times, which will equal an hour back in the oven. And then when you're done, this is what you got right here. And then everything that had dripped down right there, listen, that's glaze and that's good too. After I come out there last time, I like to just hit it and keep it nice and moist. Actually, I save all of the... Uh, all of that glaze, I put it in some type of a pouring dish. I make sure it stays warm and I put that out, you know, so the guests can like pour it on any piece of ham that they have. Now, that's what you want to have. 
now if you remember in the beginning i had that uh that kale it might not look the best on the back end you know what i mean because i didn't really get enough but listen if you put that green base down get yourself some orange slices and this is just an idea you guys that way you can see and get your mind wrapped around you know what your presentation but that right there is what i call a raspberry chipotle ham glaze hey at its best so tell me what you guys think about this one here super easy to make and don't forget we're not trying to like reinvent the wheel all we doing is really just heating up the ham we looking for an internal temperature of about 135 degrees right so once we achieve that you know what then we put it out there with that glaze on it and you know what just let everybody look at it all i can tell you is like the aroma that's going to be going around you know in your house or when your you know your guests get there you know you know in your family hey listen this is going to be it right here this might outshine your turkey Hey, so with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching. You know what? Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And if you've been watching me for a minute, you know how we finna get out of here, folks. I'm out of here. Peace.